but oh 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 i think i just got it oh come on come on baby hey friend smash that subscribe button it really helps us out also we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you and then we started out in uh, timestamps, so a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. Hey, friend Shane from HighRinch.com. And in a lot of my videos, people have uh, you know asked and sent even recommendations over the year of how to clean out you know jets in a carburetor. We've had everything from dental floss. That was a cool, fun one a, a YouTuber sent in. This was the one on the tattoo needles. That was kind of a fun one. I mean, we're just you know coming up with different ideas of how we work through this. My go-to forever has been a micro drill set. I've had this for probably over 25 years. The challenge is when these first came out, they were like 50 bucks or something. I mean, it was pretty spendy back in the 90s. And then I see now you can buy this whole thing. I'll put a link on Amazon. You can get down to like, I think I saw it as cheap as $14, which is mind blowing. If I need to get through a job and I can't buy the jets, like let's say it's a vintage bike and they're not available. Sometimes this is an only option to go ahead and just be really careful and try to get, you know, that jet clean this is a good option. People will kind of argue like, oh, you're changing the size of the jet. Yeah, if, if you go in there with a, the largest one first and you try ramming through there, yeah, you're gonna get it clear, but you're gonna make it too big. So it's really important you understand that these are precise metering devices. I just wanna start with that. It's always best when possible to use a new OEM one. Not, I, I never use these ones out of the, out of like the, the Chinese uh, Taiwan, uh, replacement you know jet kits I, i'll use bowl gaskets and float needles out of those and only use float needles when i have to if it's a cost effectiveness thing i always stick to like the oem jets whenever possible okay so i've had my number 80 here broke for quite some time and i haven't even got down to the 79 78 77 and what blew my mind i don't even know why i actually i was going to look to replace this i was like you know what Last week, I was doing a set of carbs. I had to do the old trick of taking and cutting a piece of wire out of a wire brush, not this one, a, a bigger welding brush. And then you take that piece of wire and then put it in a, a, a drill holder and then be able to basically just poke through. And when you get just usually the start, like when you get just the start of that jet, then your parts washer, your ultrasonics, vapor blasters and stuff like have the potential to take over. But when it's plugged solid, if you don't get it kind of started and be able to break that up, sometimes there's just no winning. One of the cases I had here was this jet where there was just no winning. So I found that I'm so crazy happy about it. I almost forgot to tell you about telling you how to do it. Is I found where you could buy replacement twist drills and I found these number 80, which I thought was the number that I really used most common to do pilot jets. So instead of having to use like this piece of wire that I had here, let's try one on a, a typical, this is a, it's supposed to be, it's another reason not to use the cheap jet kits. It's supposed to be for a bike that required a 38 key in pilot. It's titled 33 on here for whatever reason. When I tried to take some drills and measure it out, it actually seemed the same diameter. It's very hard to be uh, to be sure at that such such a very small level there if you will such a small number but it seemed to be similarly sized to the 38 the stock factory key in one but it was just a bummer that i had one jet that no matter what i couldn't get through with the piece of wire okay so one thing that's unique and great about these is if you notice here they're actually drill bits right so you could see the flutes on there i don't know if you'll be able to see this one see the flutes on there so the idea there is, like I said, you can just get started and then hopefully see if you can get through. I'm gonna try this here since it's an actual drill at that point, this one's clear, so it's fine, it's no problem. But if we go to this one that no matter what I was doing with my piece of wire, I just didn't have any success. That's why I jumped on Amazon and I was gonna buy this. And completely coincidentally, when I was trying to find out, cause I forgot to take a picture of this home with me and I was trying to figure out, well, what size is a number 80? I came across where I could buy a 12 pack for like five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks, whatever. You'll see in the link. I'm like, no way. Cause I really don't even need all these. The ones I want are that number 80. Like say, I use that like crazy on pilot jets. Man, I'm just so dang happy about this. So happy. I may even be able to use some of these smaller 79, 78, so on. Well, actually it's a bigger, you notice as the number goes down, the drill bit increases. 
But what we're going to do here is we're going to try and see if I can get lucky drilling it now. You can see where it won't go through. Let's grab one that, that isn't plugged. And you can see it'll kiss all the way down. I'm just curious if the drill bit will overcome what the wire wouldn't. These aren't long enough to come from the top, so you're really at the mercy of having to work with whatever junk's in there. Normally when I get into something like this, when it comes from a customer, they've broke a piece of wire, they've got something stuck in there from when they tried to do it, and it doesn't tend to work so well. So another thing you'll want to do if, if you're the one trying to do this is lower that down, okay, so that you can put a little more force on it. Okay, I went too far. Let's go something like that. And that way, if you're bending around, be less likely that you'll break it yourself. So you can see that gap in there. You can see where I'm stuck. If I could just get that started, I'm going to see here. And I'm telling you, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. And normally, I would have quit right away because it'd be my only one. Well, shoot, now I got 11 more. <laughs> I might get a little braver. I'm okay to ruin a jet and then compare it to a known good one and find out, well, did I damage it? Did it get too large? That's something you could do. And once again, I want to make sure people are clear. I would prefer to put a new one in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it's a part that's available, then I just have to stop doing the job, order it in and, and make it happen. I'm not going to throw it in just because I, I want to be done today. But if it's a non-existent, I'm going to be really cautious. I'm going to be really careful if it's something, like I said, that's really hard to get and then see what I can do to uh, to bring that back to life. But, oh, 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 I think I just got it. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. I didn't break the bit. Oh, man, I am stoked about this. I'm stoked about it because it just proves the point. Well, that son of a gun just found a hole. I'm going to look in my magnifying glass here and see. Oh, yeah. I, my friends, have a little hole in there now. Let's see if I broke my bit. No, yeah, the bit still looks good, which is surprising, too. I'm through. I am through. I'm shocked, but it's still not the right size. It should go in there easier. Man, I wish I would have had this yesterday. I wouldn't have had to hunt around for a jet like all day long. It is really interesting that that's not... There it is. Now, let's do this. Let's make sure that's it's good and clean. Man, how awesome. How awesome is that? Yeah, I guess I got a spare jet now. Look at that. If you want to know if you have, let me readjust this camera. I'll show you what I'm doing. I was more zoomed in to try and, uh, you know, be close to a drill bit, but check this out. So I love, you know, this magnifying glass, but what I could do here, oh man, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm so happy about that. So stinking happy about that. I'll take a photo here and we'll... 
whether you are plugged or not. Look at that. And they are, you know, unbelievably sized good, right? I mean, it's it's not like it's been, you know, egg-shaped or hollowed out or whatnot. All right, my friends, how cool is that? Man, I'm super stoked. Man, just so happy with options and especially something that's so, so inexpensive. Look at that. Super stoked. Now I got a spare again. So the one I, I lost, I've got back. But man, way cool. Great, great to find this. So I'll put the links below. They had a bunch of other sizes as well. I'll put it to the whole stand if you don't have one. But my friends, that is a fantastic way to not only get the jets started, get them clean, like I said, use your other resources, carb cleaner, ultrasonics, things like that. But if you've never used light in your camera to actually verify and see and check like oh did i hurt the jet or is it clear before you put in that carbon go back together this is a great way to validate that and you're gonna love it toothpaste was out only for cleaning some needles and seats and it just happens to be in this box it has nothing to do with this <laughs> anyway my friends make sure if you haven't done so yet please join the channel as a way to support us best two bucks a month you ever spend as always, like, share, subscribe, make it a great day, and keep wrenching.